Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Danganronpa Part 48. In the previous video, we brought the Chapter 5 Clash Trial to a close, and honestly, shit's getting kind of weird. We got thrown into the garbage bin, and then uh, Kyoko has come to rescue us, and now we're making our escape from the garbage bin. We did learn that Kyoko is the ultimate detective after all, which we kind of already knew, and she's looking for the headmaster, who is apparently also her father. It was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder intent on reaching the surface. Of course, you know, they just have to put Kyoko at the bottom. The ladder was impossibly long, I couldn't even see where it ended. We climbed into darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I have no idea what we were down so far. Yeah. yeah, how did Makoto not explode when he fell? Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said it, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help keep my mind off of it. Um, so Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You said you're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? How long? So... 37 years. <laughs> Ever since I can remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. That way. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? So, right. we're not very good at our jobs. <laughs> we, we've we actually only solved uh, one murder in the last uh, seven generations. Because we take pride in it. Pride? Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we can uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and to do that, we must have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why I've made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort? It's true. It's kind of old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational, but it's our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. Because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride? So that explains... Before I came here, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the f pride of her family? However... And yet, I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I... In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. The reason you gave up that pride? The reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak? It was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect? I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But uh, you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You would have had so much to talk about. Uh, it sounds like she maybe wanted to stab him. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However... There is something I want to say to him, though. What? I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him by stabbing him in the heart. S sever? The last time I saw him, I was still very young. I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. I that's not how you say it. I can't remember how you say her last name. It's not Kirigiri, though. I think it's, something, it's slightly different. But I'm just going to keep saying that because I can't remember exactly how you say it. He was talented. He had a promising future. However... But he had no interest in detective work. So he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather and they had a huge argument. As young as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there was a reason for that. I mean, prop, I mean, he sounds kind of like a piece of garbage. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I'd gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. So I couldn't tell. Also, how long is this ladder? We need some fucking snake eater in the background. So I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell how she looked when she said that. What she might have been feeling. All I could tell is that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative. And more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. Uh, you don't just abandon your child. That's, uh, there's not really much of an excuse for that. That's not what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. However, 
But there's one thing. There's one thing I can never forgive. Really? So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However... But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this day. I... His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. Correct. That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family. And then stab him. In order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. I, I doubt he forgot. Well, I mean, I forgot. Maybe he just doesn't care. But it's not like he's just going to forget that he had a kid. But your family, to cut him out just like that. Wrong. The only connection is through blood, nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? I agree with you there, it's not. Only connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that, I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. And after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. What a thrill. I don't remember any more lyrics to Snake Eater. There's something about eating a tree frog, and, uh, that, that's it. <laughs> Looks like this is Indeed. it. On the other side of this door, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're back. That's right. Remember that hatch on the ground near the trash room? Oh, that's what that's for. I'm fairly certain this is where we'll come out. What if it's locked? I unlocked it earlier. Okay. Thank you. So it should open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reached my right hand up and pushed against the hatch. Hatch opened with ease, and so... Is this where we learn that in the one day uh, we've been gone, everyone has killed each other? Because <laughs> they don't have our calming presences? Well, it looks like we're back. Oh. I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back in Hope's Peak Academy. Yoko, thank you. I would have never gotten out of there without you. <clears throat> no thanks necessary. I was just returning the favor. Well, all right. See you tomorrow. <laughs> so uh, now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the Mastermind finds out... And I'm worried about you, too. You helped me, so they might... Listen. You're worried? Y yeah, of course. So then. Also, can we talk about the fact that everyone tried to kill us? Uh... They, they, they voted for us and murdered us? It's pretty rude. I do say so myself. I mean, we're kind of used to it at this point. So let's just get a concrete answer. Huh? In other words... Let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, that's a little... However... Yeah, if we try and hide, it's only a matter of time till we're found out, and it's not like we can run away. As she said that, she pointed to the nearby surveillance camera. Yeah, plus you were instantly noticed, probably. So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry, what do you think's gonna happen? What you think is gonna happen, is it? Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared? You said something like that before. What does it mean? So the mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into M M Mukuro's death? There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. There was? Right. If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. And it'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. Negotiations. I'm still a little, no, super uneasy about this. But we don't really have a choice, do we? Indeed. Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? Let's get going. Oh man, we just started the recording session. My voice is already like going out. I was gonna record more yesterday, but like my voice died. Like as soon as I started the the what was going to be this video. I did the intro and read the first line, and then my voice died mid-sentence, and then I decided, nope, we're gonna, we're, we're not gonna record anymore. Which is kind of odd, because I really haven't been recording that much lately. Like, yesterday I only recorded the, those three Danganronpa videos at the Clash Trial, which isn't even that much talking, because most of that stuff is voice acted. And then, like, day before that, I only recorded, like, a couple episodes of this and some... I started the Yakuza Let's Play, which will have... Should be decently underway by the time this uh this video goes up that those first few videos had like barely any talking because that game is so cutscene heavy at the start yeah i don't know why my voice is like having such difficulties well now 
well now, well now, well now. Hello. Yeah. Kyoko, I don't mind so much. I don't believe it! But Makoto is supposed to be dead. What's he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? Poom, poom. You were supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? What? So what if I did? What will you do? Shing. If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. You're making me angry! So now I gotta punish you again, and this time I won't leave anything to chance. Ky Kyoko! Oh. Do whatever you feel you have to. But what? However. But before you do, let me just say one thing. Now, if, if you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Huh? Huh? I, I lose? Hey! You, explain yourself. What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me? In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as the Blacken and then executed, right? <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? However... But when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. <laughs> Because you'd never imagine that in that position, one person would protect another like that. Yeah, good thing that was totally our first choice. And we didn't, uh, try and pursue the truth the first time or anything. It was definitely our first choice was to protect Kyoko. Right. We didn't have to end up seeing the most cursed image I've ever seen in my entire life with the, the children that look exactly like the fathers. And what did they have to, tr like... Has Hino around? Like, there's that image brought so many questions. Why is Togami so happy all of a sudden? Ah, it's so cursed. And in response to that unexpected development, indeed, you reacted by proclaiming Makoto the Black and trying to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation. No, more than that, you must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. However, but then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your previously, your precious execution machinery. Alter Ego. <laughs> you never imagined the possibility of a being that could come to our aid even after you killed it. Am I wrong? Now here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Mukuro, you did. Listen to me. So executing Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love. That's what I've been saying. If the Blacken is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? <laughs> And that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying the Blacken is me and not Makoto? Well? And you can prove this right? Well. No, I can't. Don't just say it like that. <laughs> what, is this a comedy routine to make such bold claims without a shred of evidence? That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. So no matter how deeply you try and bury it, there is only ever one absolute truth. And now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type? Because... If Makoto really was the killer, he would have never have come to you willing like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution, he would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the desperation you so love to inspire. However... But here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck?! And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence? Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. I would be extremely displeased if we died. Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. <laughs> hey. Of course, you can just say we're making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. <laughs> If you want to earn our despair fair and square, That's what we have to do. then I suggest you take my advice. So, what is this advice of yours? It's true. To do Mukuro's trial over again. Only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. It's one me. final battle between hope and despair. Okay, she got it. She got the line. Hey. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? Fair trial. One last showdown. In other words... This would be our chance to expose the true identity of Mukuro's killer, of the Mastermind themselves? But what reason would the Mastermind have to accept the challenge? I don't know, because eventually the game's got to fucking end. They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> Barret! Barret? 
Very interesting indeed. Okay, Teddy. Barry? What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I had to try and change things up a little bit. So time for bear jokes. Now, would you suggest it might be possible? It would certainly make for one honey of a climax. In other words. Does that mean you accept? You guys! If we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? Right? Then I'm prepared to agree to your terms. <laughs> will your hope win out, or will my despair claim your claim victory? I can barely contain myself. <laughs> Let's have one final grizzly showdown. He agreed. And we still have a shot at this. Bear it. This is a long way to climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting end. Guys. So for the final face-off, you have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? <laughs> that's right, every last mystery that's pawing around the school. If you can do that, I can barely contain myself. Then you'll that'll be enough to qualify as a victory for you. It's true. That's what we've been trying to do all along. <laughs> okay, well, good. Then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of Mukuro's death and solve the mysteries of the school, you guys, then you'll win. <laughs> but if you can't do all that. Well, I'll face execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? Don't you mean despair? <laughs> We're as excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. When we've uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this all turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Don't you want to verify one more thing? Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that for sure. So what? Hey. I just want to confirm. That is what you said, right? And it's a true statement? <laughs> you don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations, and having a trial for Mukuro is no exception to that. Huh? Mukuro's trial is no exception, then it's part of the regulations? Which would mean that whoever killed Mukuro... <laughs> it's a very... Uh, Polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why do you go all quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> no! Great. I'm done talking. I got nothing left to say to you. So get lost, would you? Why so mad? <sighs> he seems emotionally unstable. Hey! Leave me alone. Get out of here. Okay, I'm going. I just... You're really gonna let me go? <sighs> I don't even care anymore. You're not gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Come on, Makoto. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> he is pahooing. Monokuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. And just like that, we were out of the gym. I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still have my life, and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Well, I guess. I still feel like she could have, I don't know, been more upfront with us this entire time. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. However, Don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. Whew. But still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't seem to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? So... They had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because... It's all because of that one moment that the mastermind let down their guard, like I said. Alright, what, what, what are you talking about? So when was it the mastermind let their guard down? So... It was I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the mastermind said? They said they had hijacked the airways to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. How do you know? Listen. What did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? 
Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. Indeed. I don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. However... And yet, somehow, the Master Mom was able to do it. In other words... But to think of it another way, there must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. Reason? So... They had to show the world something, no matter the cost of us killing each other. No matter the cost, us killing each other. They wanted to show the world? It would seem... The Master Mom has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all the rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. In other words... So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world. But why? Correct. Prove a point, most likely. Prove a point? Hey. <clears throat> oh, man. I think I started clearing my throat before I muted the mic there by accident. Um, The outside world has a name of the for the students of Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept? Talking about hope, right? That's right. And for those of us who represent hope to kill each other, sink into, into despair. Dude, I can't talk. I, I can only record this one video today. This is, like, bad. The Mastermind wants the world to see that, to try and prove that despair is better than hope. That's their goal as the ultimate despair. What? They want to prove... Well, like, how do they hijack the airwaves for, like, a month? I mean, or at least it's been a few weeks. Like, nobody's been able to, like... The, the feasibility of that is ridiculous. And there's no way you would be able to hijack all the international airwaves for weeks at a time. They want to prove that despair is better than hope. But that's that's ridiculous. It's true. You're right, it is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. The group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? Makoto. I know how angry it must make you, and yet, that same motivation is what led to the Mastermind revealing their weakness. What? In other words... Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The Mastermind has to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulations. If the Mastermind simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least... That's how those who were watching this would have seen it. And that's why the Mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves? Indeed. That is precisely the reason. No matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of the regulations. Junko broke the rules so she was punished, but in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Right. So instead, they tried to use the class trial, following all their proper rules to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have the right answer and then made me out to be the killer. But even that didn't work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the Mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the Mastermind had to accept your suggestion? Indeed. To prove the world, to the world that despair is better than hope, they would have to defeat us in a perfect form. In other words... Defeat us in perfect form. It would only do the Mastermind harm to have it shown they'd violated their own regulations. But all that was a hunch, right? And you were still able to get the Mastermind to accept your own challenge? However... Well, it's only thanks to you that we got that chance, because you believed in me another path opened up. Still, I can't believe how much of the Mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. Wrong. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. I was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. <sighs> but it looks like I got it right this time, at least. I won the bet. Let's add a quick sigh. I took it as a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seem to be totally confident from the moment we decided to go talk to him. <laughs> Well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, if I'd shown my uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However... Anyway, we can't just relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. We can't defeat the Mastermind or it'll cost us our lives. There's no option except to win. Hey. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True, but now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do now is to work together with everyone to destroy the Mastermind. Work together with everyone. However... Is that really possible? Huh? Anyway... Right now we have to go find the others. Shall we go? They're probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? Okay. Alrighty. Dorms. Dorms. I know where the dorms are. 
something. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta water up again. But yeah, I was really like, I mean, I'm, I'm, we're, I feel like we're in the final stretch, so I want to make the push through to finish the game, but God, I cannot talk. Now, what are, are these, these are the dorms, right? Like, Biaki, you're alive. Hey. Need to keep looking? Uh, Toko, isn't Toko, like, across the hall somewhere? Hey. Okay, need to keep looking. Hero is down here. Yeah. Hey. I don't think he's here. Come on, we need to keep looking. Uh, who else is alive? Tina. Hey. What? What are you talking about? They're not here. You said they'd be in the dorms. Are these not the dorms? Are they in our room? Are they in Kyoko's room? Where's Kyoko's room? Just a second. Is there some reason you would need to search my room? I don't know. What, what do you mean they're in the dorms? You should talk about that thing on the second floor that I still don't know what she's talking about. Apparently there's more dorms on the second floor that I just don't remember. Hey. Let's head to the dorm. What are you talking about, lady? We were just at the dorms. I mean, I guess we could check the... Maybe they're in like the... Well, no, they would be in the dining room because it's nighttime. It's supposed to be locked, right? Maybe they're in the bath? Let us come in here at least. Not seeing anybody. Still see no people. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, if they're not in any of their. Is there someone we're forgetting? Yakio, Toko, Hina. I mean, those are the only four that are alive. Um, late night laundry, maybe. No. So, what about the other rooms? So they in door won't budge. It must be locked. Uh, not in our room. God, be like, do we have to do the? Can we activate a doorbell? Is that a thing you can do? No. Hey. Don't think he's here. We need to keep looking. Well, that we were just in the. Oh, could they be at the entrance? Maybe. I mean, I assume they're not in the trash room. They, they go down into the trash. Yeah, let's go check the, the vault entrance. Or exit, really. Or they could be... Oh, yeah, I, forgot about, I always forget about this room. The warehouse. Yeah, they got to be in the vault. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Because the, the dining hall should be closed. And if they're not in here, then... Actually, can we look on a... Didn't we just learn that it shows where you're supposed to go on your map? Or something? Like, doesn't it mark things? Remember when we got lost that one time, the where you're supposed to go was marked, but I don't see any exclamation points? Okay, I'm losing my mind. 
They're in the dorms. Are, are there secret dorms I'm not aware of? Hey. To the dorms. Yes, the dorms. Um, I really don't understand what the game wants from me. We've checked every room, haven't we? Check the sauna, the bath, I mean, I, the dining hall? Okay, that's bullshit. The dining hall should have been locked. It's nighttime? I mean, I guess we have Kyoko with us, but... Uh, he's... Hello? You again? Uh-huh, yeah, all right. Is he broken? <sighs> I suppose his emotional instability reached its limit. Okay, I, I get what you're throwing down. Jeez, what the heck? However, I wonder what that was all about. Couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Fuck all of you. Makoto? All four of you can go die in a fire. I hate all of you. You're all pieces of shit. Y you guys! It is! There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto! Dude, like, I don't, I don't care about any of these people. Hina's tried to kill us twice now. Hiro, Toko, and Tagami. Well, Hiro, I mean, Toko and Tagami are just pieces of garbage. Hiro, I just, I hate. He's so annoying. And he tried to kill us. That's the main reason. He was okay. Like, I could tolerate him. But voting to kill us, not a big fan of. Huh? You s survived? Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? So mad, <laughs> seething with anger. Everyone was there. All my friends who had struggled together, they're not our friends anymore. Once you try and kill, so especially Hina, she's tried to kill us twice now. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. Makoto, they want you dead. They tried to murder us. What? What's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks. Ah. It's Makoto, he smells like wet dog. Yeah, that's what happens when people try and murder you and you have to scrape together to survive. <laughs> Get away, Sh shoo, shoo. Get on out of here. Get. And in a flash, my tears dried up. And we remembered why these people tried to kill us. Because they're all assholes. All of you. Rotten. Physically, mentally, every way you can be rotten. Sorry, I was rolling around in garbage for a while. <laughs> the smell is so smelly. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> I win. He seems happy for some reason. <laughs> I still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me either. <laughs> you realize why it is you escaped execution? It was Alter Ego. He saved my life. That's right. Not too many people can say they've had their lives saved by a computer program. Hmm. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. Yo! Makoto, what was it like hanging out in the spirit world? Uh, if only we could have stayed. I didn't go to the spirit world. You know? Did you get to talk to her? Who? Hmm. Miss Cleo! No, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. And who the heck is Miss Cleo? Come on, Makoto. So, uh, what have you guys been doing while I was gone? Hmm. Well, we figured since the trial was over, we'd have access to new places again. And, Aww. oh, dice. All the rooms that were locked before were still locked. So there weren't any new areas? Then, can, where can we go to find new clues? Makoto. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. It's not a happy reunion. I hate all of you. <laughs> Even Kyoko kind of tried to get us killed. So... I'm just, I'm, I'm a little mad, still, and we're, it's never going to be the same. I need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Explain. Explain what? Hmm. But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. That's related to what I have to tell you all. Now, we could have ended the episode without knowing what Yoko has to tell us all, but I want to know, so. This one, we might go a little bit longer, but I just don't know if I can record another full episode. Last class trial? In other words. We're going to redo Mukuro's class trial, and you're not gonna be fucking idiots this time. Huh? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of her doing it? Makoto killed her, right? Alright, we're leaving. See ya.
I'm just gonna join Monokuma. Can we be his new spy? He's nicer us, nicer to us than any of you guys are. I didn't do it. Like I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer, and of course it's not me or any of you. <laughs> then who is it? I see. What she's saying is it was all the work of the mastermind. Huh? Huh? You're saying the mastermind killed Mukuro? That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contra contra contrived by the mastermind. I know the English language. Makoto spotted the trap in time, and he did what he had to do to stop it. Yeah, totally. However... But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What What did you say? You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? Yeah, you're a dumbass, uh, Tagami, by the way. You were wrong. I'll have you know. I hope you're happy. You make it sound like it was easy. I just, you know... However... Executing Makoto, who wasn't the black and is a clear violation of the school rules... The rules state that only the Blacken is to be executed. The Mastermind broke their own rules. <laughs> which is why I went and negotiated with them to have one, the trial one more time. Huh? And the Mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? <laughs> they had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said now it's the Mastermind that's ensnared? That's who you were referring to? Don't be mean! Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again later. Mm -hmm. So, knowing all this, what do we do now? About that. It's about who killed Mukuro, right? So our job is to expose the Mastermind? Hmm. But there's more to it than that, correct? Yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Huh? Every last mystery? But... but we've been looking around all this time, and we still don't know anything. Anyway. You probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh, no! The happiest of endings. I hate you. Hey, who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us? <laughs> I'm fine with things the way they are. I'm fine living here forever with Master. Apparently, if that happens, you die. I, I don't really know what was going on in that, that image we saw. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway. Anyway, at this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. <laughs> in other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But... You're gonna know who the mastermind is and how they killed Mukuro and, and all the school mysteries? <sighs> Pretty tall frickin' order. Maybe, but this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together, we're not working together with these assholes. We can search as hard as we can, I'm sure we can solve all these mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Well, see, we're already got a wrench thrown into our plans. I... I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. I totally get you, girly. You can't agree, why not? I mean, working together, together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought, too, at first. Until Monokuma, Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint? <laughs> okay, here's a hint. The killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. Only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. I mean, I see. Monokuma said that, did he? So the only people to take a step. I mean, Monokuma's taking a step. Is he a student? Huh? But why? So in other words, if the mastermind really is the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko says. Then the mastermind would have had to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma could have probably murdered Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. In other words, and according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. <laughs> then the mastermind is... There were 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning, and Mukuro, add in Mukuro, and you get 16. <gasps> so the mastermind would have to be one of them? That's right. And of those 16 people we started out with, the only ones still alive are the people standing right here. Need I continue, or do you get it? What? Well, you know, something else we still haven't cleared up is... I mean, the biggest mystery, really, are the pictures we've seen of everyone. We're like, we don't know exactly, like, if everyone knew each other beforehand, or if those are supposed to be taken, like, or when people are dying, are they not actually dying? I don't know. No way! You can't be serious. You can't be said that for sure. You can't say for sure that's true yet. Well, Nakuma might have just said all that to confuse us. Indeed. Certainly a possibility, but only one among many. I mean, if the Mastermind was going to be anyone, it would probably be Kyoko. 
That would be my guess, because she knows the most. And she's really the one that directs us all. I mean, I could go with my tried and true blame Togami method, but Togami feels like he's too obvious. So I feel like it can't be him. Hmm. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. Mm -hmm. They're an ultimate, right? The ultimate despair, so they must be a high schooler? Mm -hmm. I mean, it could also be Hero just because he's always acting like a dumbass. Maybe that's to throw us off. Really, of the, I feel like it's, it's either Kyoko or Hero would be the true master on then if it ha if it is one of the six of people in this room. Unless Makoto, like when he has, I don't know, it's not Makoto, I don't think. That would be an interesting twist. If one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Maybe they snuck off and controlled him in secret. But I don't care how sneaky you are. We would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? And maybe Momokuno was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. Well, I mean, yes, technically. In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they dictated the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Oh, is it now nighttime? the school announcement. Oh, he's delivering it differently. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. Ooh. So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Hell yeah, brother. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? <laughs> hmm? How very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. Time for talk is done. We need to begin our investigation. It's n it's late, though. What if we want to take a nap? Hmm. I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. In the name of my family. At this point, I can only rely on myself, on the Tsugami blood flowing in my veins. Hmm. I mean, it is a little sus for you to go off on your own, not gonna lie. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your own responsibility. Goodbye. After making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. <laughs> he didn't take me with with him! Hey. Do you blame him? Now, master, the rest of you are like coffee with cream without the cream or the coffee. Yeah. You're totally useless! <sighs> so, bye. That reminds me, I should drink my coffee. Oh god, it's absolutely awful. I'm trying to drink it black nowadays. I usually like just because I feel like I need to eliminate all the sugar that I put uh, into coffee because it's kind of unnecessary. Because I don't drink coffee because I like the way it tastes. I drink coffee because I need it to survive. Uh, it's not awful, but it's also not good either. That Toko trudged out of the dining hall. <sighs> and now she's gone. And you're going to go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Let's just leave Makoto, Hina, and me. You know? In that case, I'm going to go by myself, too. Just a second. Wait, how come? I don't want to be with that? Hina. Hina's tried to kill us twice now. Okay, I don't fucking trust her. Just wait and see. I'm going to use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mess. Here, like, I don't know. I feel like Hero could be the, the classic blundering idiot that's actually the true mastermind trope. <laughs> and Hina, I really just don't think it's Hina. Aww. Everyone's gonna go off by themselves. What about you, Hina? <sighs> um, I guess I'll do the same thing. But... I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know. I mean, but up until now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been there, I would have died. What are you talking about? She tried to kill us. Makoto? <laughs> That's really nice of you to say. But... But still, I know I've mostly been totally useless. Okay. So I figure at least here at the end, maybe I can find something that'll help us all get out of here. So I'm going to go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> See you later. Hina was in surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. Once again, just us two. Indeed. Indeed. See ya. Then she disappears. All right, that's going to... That's going to do it for this video. In the next video, I guess we'll 
enter into the end game of Dangan Rafa and try and find all the remaining mysteries. I'm Extra Cheesy 87. Thanks for the next part. And bye, guys.